everybody, it's Jordan, and welcome to a new reading vlog. I'm sorry I didn't release a reading vlog for the last couple of weeks. It's because I need a break for one and two. I just thought they were very horrible, even though you guys think it was, and they were awesome. But now I'm back with a new reading vlog, so, and of course it's going to be the Summer Fun Reading vlog there's going to be split into two parts like last year one through five and six through ten so yeah and my plan for today is to start on daughter of the siren queen since i've been waiting to read it for so long and then i'm going to be listening to the queen's rising on audiobook so i might read a couple of chapters of robin hood but i'm not sure yet but that's plan for today and i'll catch you guys later it's much later. I, I've started um, Daughter of a Siren Queen, like I said. I'm not that far into it. I'm two chapters in, and I'm really missing the real world, and I just miss the characters. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy that I'm continuing on with the Daughter of the Pirate King duology. And I also started the Queen's Rising audiobook. I'm not that far into that either. I'm like a few minutes into that, so, yeah. I'm mostly going to be reading before I go to bed because I'm just, I feel a little tired, but I'm also not tired at the same time, so I'll be reading Daughter of a Siren Queen before I go to sleep, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, I've read only a, another chapter of Daughter of the Siren Queen last night, I just got a little tired and um... Yeah, I'm going to be reading more of it today. And I've read, I listened to a little more of The Queen's Rising. I'm liking it so far, but I'm only a chapter in, so I'm not that far into it. So, yeah, and today I just got back from going to Barnes & Noble with my grandma because she just decided that we would go to lunch together and go to Barnes & Noble. And I'll show you the books that I've got. I didn't get a lot of books, but I got two, and the first one is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I think it came out last year on hardcover or on or a year before, but I've heard nothing but good things about it, about um, triplets that, that meet for the first time and they're looking for their birth mother. That's from what I got in a synopsis, and I'm really excited because I've heard nothing but good things about it. And the last book that I got is um, A Prom to Remember by Sandy Hall. And I never read a contemporary about um, prom before and that kind of grabbed my interest. So I think it'll be a, a fun read for me. And I'm just excited about it. So that's all the books that I got at Barnes & Noble. I would have gotten myself Another one, there was a sequel of a book that I wanted to get, but then I told myself, you can wait on it. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. I have filming to do, and I also have reading to do. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's a, almost 11 at night. I'm, I've am i read a lot of Daughter of the Siren Queen. I'm almost halfway through it. I'm like... Oh my gosh, a lot of things have happened and I'm just, I miss the world. I know I said that I'm loving Dark of the Siren Queen right now. I was, I, it was like a four star read so far, but now it's getting back to five right now. Oh my gosh, I'm just, oh, this, this duology, it's becoming my favorite duologies of all time. I'm, I'm just so happy and I love the, the characters and there was a plot twist that just happened I'm like what? what? <laughs> but I feel like I need to see the other flip of the other side of the coin to know what's going on I all I'm seeing is one side of the coin but I will be I'm I don't know what's up with my hair right now but I I know I need to go to bed but I want to continue on Diary of a Siren Queen. Why do I have to sleep? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Wednesday. I like like I said last night, I've gone almost halfway through Daughter of a Siren Queen and oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And I've gone an hour into The Queen's Rising. I'm 
It's still a bit slow, but I'm still getting to know the world and the characters. So, yep, I'm hoping to read more of The Queen's Rising because I need to catch up on the audiobook because I'm really wanting to finish it before Summer Fun Readathon. And so, that's my goal. I might finish um, Dar of a Siren Queen today. I'm not quite sure. I might be get up to um, um, third, fourth my way through and then finish it tomorrow. But I'm not quite sure yet, but that's my plan for today. I just got some filming done. And yeah, I gotta get some reading done. I forgot to mention that Kevin and I are going to be seeing Spider-Man later today, and I'm really excited about it, and that's why I'm wearing my I Love Marvel t-shirt. It has Spider-Man, Captain America, and Thor. So, yeah, that's the only shirt that I have that has Spider-Man on it, and other than my Infinity War shirt. So, yeah, gotta be, get back to reading. <laughs> It's Thursday, also 4th of July. I know it's past the 4th of July by this when this vlog goes up. I live in America, so I celebrate the 4th of July. I'm almost done with um, Dara of the Siren Queen. I know my room is blue, so it does bad lighting, but I'm almost done with it. I'm going to finish it today. I'm excited about it. And I'm still working on my way with my audiobook, so... I know I want to give myself a day off, but since I'm behind on filming, I need to go film a schedule as well as finishing all the reading. And um, for a moment, I know you guys probably missed it and you didn't want to hear. My neighbors have been shooting off fireworks that literally sound like fireworks, but it also sounds like a cannon coming from a pirate ship. And it's driving me... Did you hear that? I'm not sure if you heard that, but... Uh, it's driving my family and I crazy, and it's scaring my dog, you know, my dog Charlie, and uh, that poor guy, and I'm going to be taking care of, my mom and I are going to be taking care of him while the fireworks are going off, because last year he was doing fine, but this year it's freaking him out, and it's driving everybody nuts, so, yeah. <laughs>
just finished Daughter of a Siren Queen. Yay! I'm I'm so happy. I'm feel like I'm starting to get out of a rain slump thanks to fire blood and oh gosh, I don't know which of two of the um books in this duology is my favorite. The first book or the second book? I don't know. And of course, I have to give it five out of five stars. I had issues with one of the characters, but that's not taking out of my reign because that's part of their personality. So, can't control that. Plus, it's a book about pirates. So, yeah. So now, I don't know what to read next. I am between P.S. I Like You by Casey West. I almost forgot the author's name. Or um, Shadow of the Fox. I am between those two right now. I might read a contemporary because thanks to that reading slump, the contemporaries always helps me especially when I read a lot of fantasy so maybe I'll read that next yeah I should read that one next hey everybody it's um Friday I almost said Thursday last night I finished Honor of a Siren Queen I only got in a chapter in of P.S. I Like You by Casey West yeah I'm not that far into it I'm liking it so far but I feel like I need to do a read another chapter of other books that are on my TBR for Summer Fun Readathon, but I'm liking it so far. I'm just not sure if I'm in contemporary mode, but I was so tired last night that I'm like, maybe I should just reread the first chapter again today and just continue on reading it. So, and I haven't worked on more of my audiobook, but I really need to catch up on it. So that's my plan for today. I have filming to do, and yeah, I'll get you guys later. And as much later, I decided to put down P.S. I like you because I'm just not a contemporary mood. But I picked up Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. I'm not that far into it. I'm only a chapter in. And I'm actually really liking it so far. I feel like I'm reading um, an anime show or even manga without pictures. So that's how I'm feeling towards it right now. I'm really liking it. So, yeah. Um... I'm definitely gonna end this vlog here. Like I said, there's gonna be two parts for Summer Fun Readathon. One is one, days one through five and six through ten. So I'm gonna do a big green wrap up for the Summer Fun Readathon um, in the next vlog, which is days six through ten. So, yeah, but I'll tell you what I've read so far, and it's um, Dar of the Siren Queen. And of course, you guys know that I really enjoy that. I'll talk about it more on the reading vlog wrap up and um that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next video bye